So originally I was to be ordained with Brother Elizandro on June 13th. And because of questions of how safe it would be, we decided to postpone it to October 10th, and which actually works out great. One, it gave me more time to prepare personally, and also it falls on the solemnity of St. Thomas of Villanova, giving us a chance to celebrate on this great feast for us. A transitional deacon is in the process to become a priest. So this stage is just about for six months and then you are placed to do ministry. You can get the sacraments of baptism, marriage. We choose Elisandro, our brother, for the order of the Diana. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. that Daniel Leo Madden, who is to be ordained priest, come forward. Relying on the help of the Lord God and of our Savior Jesus Christ, we choose this man, our brother, for the order of the priesthood. Thanks be to God. Do you promise respect and obedience to the diocesan mission and to your legitimate sympathy? May God who has begun a good work in you bring it to your family. St. Augustine took it from the first community of the disciples when they gathered together. They were celebrating the resurrected Christ and they were waiting for the second coming without attachments, united with the same desire, looking for God. And I see in the Augustinians, I can find that. In the ordination ritual, there is a particular moment where first the bishop lays hands on the one to be ordained's head. And then there's the opportunity for all the priests gathered for this ordination to come through and lay their hands on the newly ordained's head. And that's a particular moment that I've watched other guys ahead of me at their ordination and being filled with emotion at that moment. It's being brought into this great life of a priest by the other priests. It brings all of who I am, all my thoughts, all my words, all my actions to Christ. And so to have the bishop and to have all the priests lay their hands on my head makes me realize I am directing everything I have to Christ. To follow in the footsteps of St. Augustine, I think it means a couple things for me. One, literally following in the footsteps by being part of the community that goes back to the first monastery that he founded. But then there's also the, the spiritual footsteps and trying to follow in his great mission to share the love of God to others, to be called to preach and to teach God's word to people, to offer the sacrifice of the Mass and bring people into the great communion of the body of Christ. It'd be great to share this with my many Augustinian mentors and formators who have guided me and to be joined by Deacon Elizandro. The Augustinians have this great motto of being one mind and one heart on the way to God, which is found right in the beginning of that rule. It calls me and it calls all of us Augustinians to support one another, to pray for one another, to carry one another at times toward God in our ultimate destination of heaven.